But Ready? Tim hasn't slowed down in the least. Ring the bell. And I haven't shut up yet. Okay, I'm going to win this match. All right, so you better watch it. You understand me? You better watch it. All right? Let's just say it's been a while. But Tim hasn't slowed down in the least. Ring the bell. And I haven't shut up yet. Okay, I'm going to win this match. All right, so you better watch it. You understand? Alright. Oh, Rue trying to uh, lay down the law here, but I don't think it was appreciated. Some uh, nice little uh, dance steps that uh, LaRue might be able to uh, copyright. I don't know. He probably couldn't recreate him if he tried. I, but I'm, I'm sure Tim and and um, Amos would be willing to uh, beat up on him some more to try to help him uh, remember those dance steps. Speaking of which, Amos and now Lutz going at it. Nice series of maneuvers by Amos. I told you, he's full of surprises. Side headlock being applied now. Tim quickly out of that. Comes up with a wrist lock. Tim is pushing Tim to the corner. Gaston comes in, tries to uh, take advantage, but Amos already waiting for him. And here he comes. And poor Tim crushed in the back. As Amos assists with that splash. I, I don't even know if that was intentional by Tim Lutz, but it was effective. Oh, Tim was going to go for the elbow, but he saw a better opportunity going after Amos, who was not paying attention. Meanwhile, Gaston went to the outside. Looks like Tim did make the right decision. Amos quickly back to his feet. Fires off the Who comes in with a charging shoulder block. Tim rolling over the top of the oh, headlock takedown. Tim Lutz known for his speed, but I, I must say, I think Amos has been a little bit faster in this match. And now, a series of headlock. It's Tim and Amos, uh, I don't know if it was intentional or unintentionally working together. But Amos, unable to take advantage of it and get stunned, so I don't care, leave me alone, leave me out of this. And now it's just Lutz and Gaston. Oh, Gaston with a roll up. Opportunity here. I don't know, I couldn't tell from my vantage point. It looked like he may have been trying to hook the tights as well. Back suplex by the APW commissioner. Been trying to get the crowd worked up. Oh, a DDT by the time that could do it. Amos is out there. Somehow managed to get in time to break it up. I guess Stein going to the eyes. And now in control for what I believe is the first time in this match. As he delivers a clothesline to the pop master. This time now with a series of right hands. He's going to send the ropes. No pun intended. Gaston delivered a big boot to Tim Lutz as he attempted to re-enter the ring. Oh, wow. That's not a good way to utilize those ropes. 
Tim now trying again to get back into the ring. Can't win it from the outside. Tim finally steps through. Maru, however, taking on both individuals. But they never caught up with him. The northern right suplex was a pl Oh, wow! That kick was, uh, I don't know. It looked like it could have been a little low. We don't have instant replay here. Let's catching Amos with that back elbow. And now has an opportunity to put Amos away. Fisherman suplex. Referee. Referee. Well, apparently saying the, the shoulders were not down. I, I don't know. I, I have to question that. They looked down from my vantage point. But the referee was there. He saw it firsthand. And now Amos hoping to roll Tim Lutz over. Is he going to allow Tim Lutz to get the victory? He's on the run. He's on the run. One, two, three. Oh, managed to get to the ropes. Maybe that's what Amos was trying to do, get him to the ropes. I don't know. I think it would have been easier simply to break it up. After all, if you let one of them get the victory, Amos hit hard on that concrete floor. Concrete pavement, I should say. There's no padding whatsoever out here. That's with a head of steam. Comes in, all gets, gets caught with a boot. And now LaRue all the way to the top. This is his opportunity. Tim Lutz, a little stagger, doesn't know where he's at. Got the last handle to the back. Amos is still on the floor. This is his opportunity. LaRue needs to go for something devastating. Snap suplex. Lutz managed to kick out, and he had to kick out because Amos still unable to get in. As he hit that pavement hard. Oh. European uppercut by LaRue and a series of boots planted in the midsection of Tim Lutz. Jumping, right hand, and a neck breaker applied by LaRue. And the stem manages to break it up. That's the thing about these kind of matches, you've got to be looking in all directions. You've got to have eyes in the back of your head because just when you think you've got everything under control, somebody can attack you from behind or try to take your victory as Lightning Tim just did right there. Or attempted to do so. Big back drop by Amos. On the Lutz. Oh, tried for the suplex. Couldn't get him. Twice he couldn't. Left for the reversal. Delivers a suplex of his own. Let's can't decide who's going to go after. It goes after Amos. He tried to go after LaRue, but LaRue caught him coming in. Sunset flip. But Lutz has the ropes. I, I don't know if he can get him over. Lutz just drops the fist. Oh, another sunset flip. Couldn't quite get him right. There's now LaRue. The referee signaling two and missed a possible three count there. It's now Amos has the cross face applied. As Lutz is trying to break it up. Having to go to the ice to do so. Several near falls there. 
And a backslide being applied by Lutz. Oh, very close. About two and a half. Now Amos with a cover. Only two. Another two count. Several near falls in a row. LaRue's still on his back. He might get him at a DDT by Lightning Tim. Looking for crowd approval. Needing to feed off their energy if, if they can cheer loud enough. Let's go into the tunnel. He sees LaRue coming over. Sends an elbow to him instead. Let's look like he's going for the figure four. Baruch screaming in pain. He says no. Can he get to the ropes? He does. Oh, barely. He got pulled back by Amos. Amos pulled him back. And now Amos pulling on the face of Lutz to break the hold. There's no submission. Very clever move by Amos. To pull Lutz back. To move Gaston away from those ropes. Although it could have very easily cost him the match. Because Gaston could have tapped out right there. Uh-oh, both knees. To the kisser of Lutz. I thought he was going to the top. He's got to reposition Lutz. Will those few seconds cost him? Lutz is already getting back up. The sign is ready. Uh-oh. Let's see. Big superplex. That's got to do it. One, two. And he got out. Here's your winner, the APW Commissioner, Lightning Tim Lutz! Yeah. Lutz with a victory, it's as quickly as setting the 